bounce with my left, catch it with my right and throw some punches. On this video, I'm gonna give you three tips to be able to slip out the way of punches faster. No matter whether it's a boxing punch coming at you or a street fighting punch coming at you, after watching this video, you're gonna get a great understanding of how to get out the way of those punches better. By the way, tip number three is by far the best, so make sure you hang around and watch tip number three because that one will really, really help you. My name's Tony Jeffries, Olympic medalist boxer, former undefeated professional, seven times national champion, European champion. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Tip number one is move your head slightly. I see it often where people will be slipping out the way of punches and they'll slip and they'll come this far down. If I'm in this position right here, I'm off balance. I can't throw any counter punches. And if someone pushed me, I'd fall over. So when I say slightly, I mean just enough to get out the weight of a glove or a fist. If you think a glove is about six inches, a fist maybe four inches wide, that's all you've got to slip. You've got to slip just that much. And if you've got a line in between your feet or visualize a line in between your feet, that line is where the punch is going to come right down. You've got one foot either side, thinking the punch is coming right down the line, take your head off that line, your head's off that line, and the punch will go straight past you. So you're here, small movements. And as well, if I slip here, I've slipped that jab, I'm putting the weight on the back foot and I'm loading up this next punch, which is a big cross, slip here, load up the next punch, which is a hook. So them small slips is not only going to get you out of the way faster, but also put you in a great position to throw a counter. I've got lots of videos on this channel about counter punching. Check them out as well. They will really help you. Tip number two is use a slip rope. All I've done here, I've tied a hand wrap around a heavy bag to the wall. And I've got this my head height because that's where the punch is going to be coming straight to your head so you want to get in your boxing stance here and we're going to do a little slight step and a dip fast and if you think the punch coming at you you've just got straight out of the way of that one thing to think about when you're doing this you want to keep your hands up i'll see it often where people will have their hands down and they'll be here that is no use because if you're down here boom and you get clipped you, you're not protecting yourself. So hands up high. You always want to have them hands up on the slip rope. And a drill with this, you can use moving forwards and back. Forwards and back. Keeping your head off there. You don't want to be, you don't want to be coming under and getting in this position. You want to use them legs. Slide, slide, slide. And you want to, the faster you get at this, the better you're going to get at slipping out of the way of punches. Yeah, that's tip number two. And tip number three is the most important of them all, and that is your reactions. Seeing the punch coming, reacting when someone throws a punch at you. If you get this down, I'm telling you, it's gonna make you very hard to hit. So, how can you improve your reactions? There is so many different drills that you can do for this. I've got a full drills package that you can check out, the link below, where you'll see a ton of drills on reactions. But I'm going to give you a couple right now. Get a tennis ball or a rubber bouncer ball like this. There are so many different drills that you can do with this to help improve your reactions. One of them is you've got the ball out in front of you. All I'm going to do, I'm going to drop it with my left hand and I'm going to catch it with my right as I throw the punch. Same with my right, I'll drop it with my right. Catch it with my left, keep dropping it. And this here is a drill that'll help improve your reactions. Another one is just getting on your toes, bouncing that ball hands up and you might be thinking well how is this helping me improve me slipping because it is helping your coordination your hand eye and foot coordination which is everything to help improve your reactions and then what you can do you can combine them two so I'm bouncing the ball I'll bounce with my right I'll catch it with my left bounce with my left catch it with my right and throw some punches bouncing 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 bounce bounce catch punch like that yes Number three is reactions. Get better at reacting, and that will help you get better at reading punches that's coming straight for your face. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel where I upload lots of videos like this, boxing breakdown techniques, fight breakdowns, everything boxing. If you've got any questions or if there's any videos you want me to do, leave them in the comments below, and I will be reading all of the comments and answering all the comments. Thank you for watching.